Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well, having a great new year, and not getting into too much trouble. Well, today's video I wanted to talk about positivity. So, body image. Body image has always been around since forever, since mankind started. If you look through history, you can see how women were more desirable if they were more voluptuous because they looked more fertile, if you will. They would be better at childbearing. And then they got thinner and then the corsets came in and, and body image for that changed. It was wider, smaller. Then it became very small and then it became bigger again. It, more voluptuous type thing. So it's always going to change throughout time. I remember even growing up, I mean, we had the internet, but not like it is now. And we didn't really have social media like we do now. So, but even then, even in magazines, pe women looked a certain way. And, and in your mind, you're thinking, well, why don't I look that way? Especially growing up, I remember I started developing like breasts when I was about eight to nine, so th fairly young. And I remember thinking, oh my God, you know, everybody in my class, I have the bigger ones type thing. And especially as I got older, I felt very self-conscious as a lot of girls do. Either your, your breasts are not big enough, they're too big your you, weight, you're too thin, you're too big, you're too whatever. So teenage years are very awkward, especially when you, you're going through those tweens <laughs> phases and, and even being a teenager. Anyways, just give me a little bit of backstory. So for me, again, I've always dealt with my weight except for when I was young. I was a toothpick, but then once puberty hit, things happen. And I, I did thin out when I got older, about 13, 12, 13. And that's when um, I'll dive into this, to this topic another time, but I had to start taking uh, medications for my mental health and because of that it put a bit of weight on me and I felt very self-conscious so this is something I've been dealing with basically my whole life my weight's always been up and down of course you know you you look back at pictures of yourself when you were thinner and then you think to yourself wow I thought I was big then and then you're like, look at me now type thing. And just with all this photoshopping now, and I mean, Photoshop has been around forever, but like, especially with, with social media now and Instagram, like the modeling, YouTube, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. You want to be a makeup, want to have a makeup channel, you know, different tips and tricks and stuff like that. And it's awesome because I mean, I follow some of them. But I think at the end of the day, the point of this whole video is people come in all shapes and sizes and you don't have to be a size four, six, whatever to be beautiful. The point is if you're comfortable in your own skin, that's all that matters. People need to remember that people could be dealing with their weight. They could have eating disorders. Um, Eating disorders could can be many things, anorexia, bulimia. It doesn't necessarily have to be with weight loss. It could also be with weight gain. It could be a thyroid problem. It could be medication people have to take for certain for certain things. Like example, uh, mental illness and mental health that they have to take it so that they can just be able to live a normal life. And of course, society, people, people put us like in this box that we're supposed to be this way. And I've actually seen 
some influencers and whatnot, especially like on Instagram, where they show their true selves, you know, they might be fit, just say, but again, people auto-tune now and, and, and just fix up their photos to make themselves look a hundred percent better. But a lot of the times they don't look normal. They look like an alien. But then there's also posing and what what can show you how how the best way of doing photos versus not. Which is there's there's nothing wrong with that. But the point of it being is just this whole topic is. being comfortable in your own skin people have acne you know what I I had acne in my 20s and I hated it when I got older it cleared up but the point being is is that I did have that issue and on top of that again I've always fluctuated with my weight and I'm not a, a I'm not a zero, a size zero. I will never pretend to be a size zero. I'm never going to pretend to be anything that I'm not. But you know what? If I'm happy and healthy and, and all that stuff, that's all that matters. If you're happy with yourself and you feel good in your own skin, like I said, that's all that matters. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is real on the internet. And it's, I shouldn't say nobody. There are people that do natural stuff. But we just, I think as a society, have seemed to forget what being natural is. I mean, you know, you could see me in a photo. I look, you know, I do this. I look thinner. I do this, you know, I have a bit of a double chin, but you know what? That's just my face. That's just, I have a very round face and losing weight and putting weight on and whatever. It's just what it is. Can I do facial exercises? Yes, I probably should, but I'm not going to do it for anybody else than myself. Just like I put on some weight, I lost a bunch of weight. But then I put some back on because, you know what, almost over six months now, I quit smoking. And I feel that the effects of weight gain and everything just from quitting, it's worth it because it's kind of a healthy weight. But, you know, I can get back on that routine for me. At the end of the day... It's how you feel in your body. Who cares what anybody else says? Especially if you have a life or if you're, if you're a YouTube blogger, if you're Instagram, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. People are always going to have comments about you. And you have to also remember, viewers who's ever viewing this... And if they break comments or anything like that on the way I look, the way I talk, the way whatever, it's not my problem, you know? They're sitting behind a screen, phone, computer, tablet, whatever. They're sitting behind a screen, but I'm telling you, in real life, they would never would, would never say comments. I see how people can make comments towards other people online. And it's, it's so uncalled for. The reason people start attacking other people is because they're insecure about themselves. Seriously, you, you just, you need to have a, you need to have a tough skin, especially being on social media. And I've been doing social media. I've had different YouTube channels and 
different things like that through the years, you have to have a tough skin. It takes courage to be able to come out here and to be able to be your authentic self and to be able to speak your mind and all that stuff. But yeah, so that's kind of why I'm making this video because I just, I want everybody to know that it's okay, you know? So I don't have like hundreds of followers right now. That's fine. I enjoy doing my videos and I enjoy doing silly things and whatever because it's, it's enjoyable for me. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So keep smiling and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.